Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be covering how to edit the registry to delete uh, keys uh, if you are infected with a virus. And first of all, this video is for information purposes only. Uh, use at your own risk. Editing the registry can result in loss of data. We always recommend you actually use an antivirus client to actually remove registry items. This isn't something we recommend most people do yourself, but this is a uh, educational tutorial on how to do it. So we're going to go ahead and hit the Windows Start button, go into the Run command. I'm going to go ahead and type in Reg Edit. Now, if this was uh, Windows XP, it'll say Run down here. Um, if we're using Windows 7 system. Uh, it doesn't really matter, and this works also on Vista too. It's all the same. So we're going to go ahead and go under Reg Edit, and then you're going to notice five keys here, or five separate folders, and it's going to be H key classes root, current user, local machine, users, and current config. And most of the things are going to be under uh, current user or local machine. And so we're just going to take an example of something here. So this is one trace, and H key CU stands for current user. If it was LM, that'd be local machine. CR would be classes root. Let's see, we got a CR there, and we got an LM for local machine there as well. So that's uh, the abbreviations of it. First thing you always want to do is always make a backup. So we're under the current users folder, so I'm going to go ahead and right click on it. I'm going to go to export. I'm going to export it, and I'm going to name it. And this is a current user. So HKCU, and then the date. So we'll just say 610 of uh, 2010 save. So now that that has been saved, I made a backup of just that folder uh, that I'm going to be going in and editing. And that's very important just in case things go haywire. You can also make a system restore a point to backup your registry. The problem with that is, is if you're already infected, chances are it has infected those past restore keys too as well. That isn't always the case, but uh, more and more threats are doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and browse down to software system internal antivirus software and there we go now according to the guide it told me to delete this folder and again that guide is there for reference per reasons only and educational reasons only um, the reader full disclaimer on our website before attempting any of this I'm going to go ahead and delete it I'm saying yes I want to delete that folder and its subkeys so now the problem that you can run into is let's say you deleted one of these other ones by accident well you can really hose your computer up and that's why we always recommend to use an antivirus client we like a uh, spyro doctor with antivirus and the, our second favorite is going to be malware bytes uh, anti malware program both of them are very very solid and work really really well and that is basically it for editing the registry as you can see it's not too too difficult but the problem lies in uh, you accidentally deleting the wrong thing or some of these keys may just have to be edited uh, to uh, for a one or a zero so it's very important that you read the guide first and remember it's for educational purposes only we do not recommend any normal user go in and edit the registry unless you actually know what you're doing and that's it take care